So often, my conversations with my students go like, How did your practice go this week? Good, good. Okay, so what did you do? What did you practice? Yeah, this piece. What did you manage to accomplish with this piece? I don't know, it was good. Uh, yeah, or sometimes I get the answer. I have no clue. I have no clue what I did. Hi everyone, it's Linda. I am super excited to be back with another clip explaining, detailing the process of the practice journal. Today, we'll be talking about reflection and how to do a good reflection so that you keep on improving on your practice. Reflection is such an integral part of learning and continual improvement on what we do. This video will be broken down into three sections. Number one, feedback loop and how you know exactly what you did during your practice. Number two, reflecting on the process by figuring out what you did well. And number three, what we can further improve on next time around we practice. So without further ado, let's begin. Number one, knowing exactly what you did today. So the notes and the goals are part of it. Your physical feedback is part of it. I would highly recommend taking notes during your practice so that you can be like, oh, this exercise made me feel better in terms of this. But here are a couple more ways of figure out if you're doing exactly what you think you're doing. So number one, mirrors is such a good way to get immediate feedback on what you're doing physically. Second, and very, very doable for most people is self-recording. So this can just be video on your phone. If you have a nice audio recorder, like a Zoom recorder, that can be super duper helpful just so you can listen back and hear objectively, did I actually do what I want to do? Other ways of getting feedback, play for other people, play for your peers, play for your teacher, of course. Another point, I should say, is that there's been a growing community on Instagram and other social platforms to upload your own practice videos daily and to get feedback from a growing community of fellow piano learners. And I think that is such a wonderful thing to see. And it is certainly a tool. If you feel comfortable, you can take advantage and use. Moving on, number two, a question that you should ask yourself in your reflection once you've figured out exactly how you did during the session is to ask yourself, what did I do well today? Yeah, this exercise worked really well for me. I was able to stay mentally focused throughout this whole session when I cut up my practice like this. So just figuring out what really worked for you this practice. And then number three, figuring out what didn't go well or what can be further improved for next time. Make sure it's very detailed and specific and comment on specific things that you did in your practice. So maybe this exercise didn't work well for me after a day, but maybe I'll try it again tomorrow and see if it makes a difference. Generally, I try to try new things and give it at least three days to kind of marinate before I really assess, oh, okay, did that actually really help me? Sometimes exercises doesn't immediately take effect and help you physically right away. And the results come much later. Now it's time for an example. Here is me practicing this passage in Scarborough with attention to only my fingertips, keeping my hands separate at the beginning, and then slowly over the course of days, I put hands together. And then once I feel much more comfortable, you see me using the metronome and starting with an atrociously slow tempo and moving it up very, very slowly, incrementally, and really finally getting that passage. So every day I review my tapes for my practice session and assess whether or not I've been improving. I also rely on my memory of how I actually felt during my practice physically to assess efficacy of certain exercises. And for me, it certainly did feel better. Everything felt easier as I slowly moved up the tempo and it stayed that way. Slow work is paying off a lot also because it doesn't feel laborious at all. Like it doesn't feel, because before I would play like. But now it feels super easy. So that's a good sign of an exercise that works. If 
I assess that, oh, that exercise didn't work too well for me even after three or four days of trying it, I'd find a new one to tackle this, the same problem. In conclusion, how do we reflect? We talked about three things. One is the feedback loop, figuring out really, really, really making sure that you figure out exactly what you did during your practice. Number two, figuring out what went well. Number three is looking critically at your practice and looking for rooms of improvement, scrapping certain exercises if it doesn't work for you, and finding new ones, which leads you, which leads you back to your goal setting for the next day. So I hope that was helpful. Those are my thoughts about reflection and how to do a good one in your practice journal. There are tons of resources out there about feedback loops and reflection, so I will definitely link those down below. Let me know down in the comments how your reflections go this week anyways with that that's all i have to say about reflection for now i'll see you next time bye